Good morning, people. I just got up to use the restroom and I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. So, um, I have a doctor's appointment. Um, I'm just coming alive. I have a doctor's appointment in like eight. I live like two hours away. So, I'm up. I'm going to get ready. <sighs> I'm going to hit the road. Jesus. Okay. I'll be back. Talk to you soon. <sighs> oh my gosh, it's still dark. It's still so dark. I don't know if you guys heard my message in the beginning, but I forgot that I had a doctor's appointment today and I didn't prepare for it whatsoever. So I just grabbed like the nearest things. I, I grabbed this shirt. I think I had this shirt on for like three days. Fortunately, I haven't really been doing anything, so it hasn't really had a need to get dirty, but I need to get more clothes. I seriously need to get more clothes because I, I don't know if any of the athletes have this issue or if you're a lazy athlete. Does that mean I'm a lazy athlete? But I have like so many athletic clothes to where I don't have any, I don't have, oh no. Why would they do this? The cat got into it. But anyway, I got so many athletic outfits that I don't really have business, business casual, so whatever. But it's still dark. And... Sorry, Carolyn, but I think I'm going to treat myself to Starbucks because I'm dreading this. I'm dreading this. You can't see me, so I'll be back. So I'm letting my car warm up, getting like, you know. So I am getting my car ready. I'm going to have to stop for like gas at some point. So do I do it now or do I do it later? I don't know. Probably do it a little bit later. I always put it off. I probably shouldn't do that. But I'm trying to get warm because it's actually quite chilly. According to my car, it says 59 degrees. It doesn't feel like it. I should have checked. I don't have one. I freaking, oh, sorry. I don't have one on jacket right now. But anyway, so I have about a two-hour drive. I'm going to get my finger checked out. I'm really nervous because I lost the finger casing a few days ago. So I don't know, like, me hitting it on small things. Has it impacted anything? Because the doctor was specifically like, gotta be careful don't hit it on things and he said it's the my recovery is going to depend on me and i really want to recover because i really want to start wrestling in december and i've seen that it moved a few times and i don't know what's gonna go on like i've been really careful i haven't been wrestling or anything so i'm really nervous because i don't know if this is one of those cases that the small things like the small little bumps and stuff really impact it but i'm hoping that i really healed fast um yeah or then i'm on track or i'm ahead of the healing process so yeah guys fingers crossed at least uh, if we if you're able to cross your fingers because i know how it is <laughs> but anyway so we shall see Ooh. Do they call me rosa what do they call you royal wow oh, they really call you loyal Royal, as in. Oh, wow, oh, <laughs> they call you loyal. Uh, what can I get started for you today, doll? Uh, let's see. Can I have a grande pumpkin spice latte iced with almond milk? Of course you can. Do you still want the whipped cream? Yes, please. All right, what else? Uh, that'll be it. All right, you're looking at a total of 631. I look forward to the window. Thank you. Sure, doll. Toodles. <laughs> I like this guy. Ooh, now that it's daylight, you can see how rough I look. <laughs> uh, sometimes you, I'm just like, I'm just trying to get to the destination. I don't necessarily care how I look. The purpose is a checkup, but I made it. Look, I am here. <sighs> so hopefully good news. I really got to use the restroom, so I'm going to hurry and get checked in. But yeah, it's light out. It feels nice. I'm gonna just speak positivity, positivity. I don't know if the doctor's gonna feel comfortable with me filming. I'm really not good at this. This is like the first time I'm really like vlogging anything. 
So if I can get footage in there, I will. If I can't, then I won't have it. But praying for good vibes, good vibes. I'm going over there. You get it, girl, you get it. Ah, I'm so nervous because I keep hitting my finger. I just hate to get yelled at. I don't want to get fussed at. I'm usually the person that does the everything right. <gasps> but here we go. So I just did my x-ray and I'm finally able to look at my finger. So I'm going to show it. So if you don't want to see anything that kind of sort of looks gross or weird, please skip this part. I'm giving you time. Skip. But yeah, here's what my finger looks like right now. I look at it. It's so like weird looking and it's extremely dry because they told me do not get it wet and I'm like okay but it's so dry and it's so swollen it doesn't look like my fingers at all. I'm pretty god that everything is okay. It, ugh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous because I feel like I've been hitting it on everything under the sun. I'm freaking nervous. <sighs> so now I'm waiting for the results. Do, do, do. Everyone seems super nice this early in the morning. I wish I was as nice this early in the morning. Well, that's nice that they remind you of this before you leave. If you need a therapy note, work note, medication, medical refill, etc. So, one of the nurses came in and gave me an update. They said that my finger actually looks really good. There's a possibility that I may be able to get it out sooner. However, they're going to look at the x-rays and see from there. Um, it looks like your girl is feeling pretty well, but he'll have the final say so because he'll be able to see. She just filled me in on the procedure of how to remove these. And apparently I'm going to be awake for it. Um, they haven't like sent me into like therapy or anything. She mentioned that. I don't know if I was supposed to be doing that or not, but... We'll see. I know they told me after the pens are out that I'll most likely be going to therapy, but we'll see. We'll see how everything goes, but good news so far. She said, I've been keeping it good and clean. I really haven't been doing anything. I mean, I've been checking it and they told me like if it turns green or something, then I need to clean it. But the only thing is it's really dry and scaly. It's ugly looking. And I don't know if you guys want to see that. Yeah, it's, it's gross, but you know. It is what it is, road to recovery. Woohoo, we're done. But they want to keep it in again for another two weeks. So it is they estimated six weeks. But they told me that everything looks to be going super well and I'm healing super well. I just got to get my splint resized. So I got to go find that and then hopefully get it resized. So that way I can fully bend my finger and not bend it at the point that I want to bend it at, but. <laughs> I'll be able to bend it somewhat. <sighs> so I'm excited about that. So I have to make another trip down here on Monday. <sighs> I just hope I can find that splint. I was in such a rush. Cause I'm like, I want to be on time. I want to be on time. I hate being late. I just hate being late. So I'm like, it's okay. They're going to take it off my finger anyway. So it's fine. I'm just going there and here. I don't need it. Well, apparently they're like, well, we'll resize it for you. And I'm like, I don't have it. So we'll see, we shall see. I'm about to get in the cores. Actually, I'm gonna check my car to see if I have it because I know I brought it with me at some point. But yeah! Hey, so I made it home. Uh, I'm so sleepy. That car ride, just, I don't know. It, I promise I know how to speak English, but I'm so sleepy. Last night, or well, this morning, I think I went to sleep around 1 1 a.m maybe that's when i started going in and out of sleep but for some reason i couldn't sleep probably because i was nervous or i knew i had to get up at five to make the drive which is fine like i don't mind driving i'm used to getting up at weird hours to do so for whatever reasons i mean it's just i couldn't sleep so i'm probably gonna try to take a nap and finish the rest of my meal prep and probably edit some videos because i have to get used to this now for those of you who don't know, this is obviously like my first time like vlogging. So I have to get used to like picking up the camera and talking to the camera, even though no one's talking to me. 
I give it to all those YouTubers that are able to vlog and make it make sense and make it look fine and look great. I don't think this is what this is going to be, at least right now. My goal is to do this so that I can get a camera, like an actual camera, so I don't have to carry on my phone all the time. I mean, my phone is fine, but I can't do anything since I'm using my phone. I can't, like, look things up and message people and take pictures and things um, because I'm recording on my phone. So, yeah. But it could be worse, you know. could be back in like the early 2000s where the phone quality was like very very crappy <laughs> but i'm sure if we were back then you would understand why my stuff looked pretty crappy but anyway so um just a summary of the trip so i went to ortho georgia for my checkup they said it's been about four weeks it really doesn't feel like it i feel like it's been three but they said it's four weeks which makes sense because i think my surgery was done on the 17th and it's almost that right now. Um, 17th of, when was it? September? Yeah, September. So, um, I have a follow-up on, technically, my next appointment is on November 4th. Uh, that is to hopefully remove the pins. So, they looked at everything today. They said everything looks fine. Of course, my finger looks crusty and dry, but... I've been keeping the ports, the ports, whatever they're called, the, the entry points of the pins. I've been keeping those very clean. Um, they looked at the x-ray. I guess everything is fine. They didn't go over anything with that they saw on the x-ray. So I guess everything is going according to plan. Typically, they said it's going to be about four to six weeks that they keep those pins in. However, they're going to go the full six weeks with me. So that would be the November 4th um, appointment. However... Because I was in a rush this morning, because I absolutely don't want to be late, I didn't have the splint that is like originally on my finger. And, you know, they have been asking me, have I been bending my finger and such? And I'm just like, not really because of how the splint originally was. It's kind of sort of on the knuckle, but not really. So they want to resize it for me. I'm a little bit nervous because as of right now, I don't know where it is. I looked for it this morning but because I couldn't find it I just went ahead and got in the car because I didn't want to be late and now I'm like I don't know where it is and I have an appointment Monday for them to resize it and I should have asked I just didn't want to assume that it was lost um well let me rephrase that I did ask I'm like well could you just give me another one because I'm drove two hours to be here and I don't you know I don't have it so is it possible for you to give me another one today and the nurse was like oh no because those are like three hundred dollars and like understandable it's okay i'll just be careful but then when the actual doctor came in and he was talking about how it would be better to have the actual splint on my finger so when i exercise my finger he says that helps for some reason so i i don't know i really don't know i pray to god that i find it if not, then I'm just going to have to call them like, look, my worst fear was right. Like, I really can't find it. What are my options? Worst case scenario, they're just going to say, just be very careful, which would totally be fine. Because I do not have $300 to buy a whole other splint. And the reason why the splint is that expensive, it's not like a regular splint that you can go get from CVS or Walgreens or Walmart. It's like a thermal type thing where... It's, it starts out like this flat sheet of something. I don't know what it is. Um, and they dip it in hot water, like really, 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 really hot water. And they're able to shape it to you, your finger. So I get it. It's pretty pricey. I feel so bad. I'm usually so good with keeping up with things. But I just, I don't know. It may have fallen out of my bag or I have cats. So sometimes when things fall over, it happened that way with like a crystal. I didn't find it until I was moving things. Like I had a rose quartz crystal, but apparently it fallen off. You know how cats are. They play with things and they move them around. So there's a huge possibility that it's under something. I don't know. I'm just freaking out because that's important. It really protects my finger. And I just don't like losing things and looking like I'm irresponsible. But I'm going to have to suck that up if I can't find it and just let them know. And the worst case scenario for the next two weeks, I just don't do anything to stall the process. Um... But yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on. So fingers crossed that I find it. 
also uh, just fingers crossed that everything goes okay they told me that if everything goes according to plan on november the 4th they're gonna pull out my pins and that process they do it to you while you're awake they literally just pull it out of your fingers so that's gonna be interesting i'm gonna ask them can i film that because i i low-key just want to like keep that and like show people i don't think i'll post it on like youtube or anything because that's quite graphic i would imagine but i'll probably put it on my patreon though so comment below if that's something you want to see and worst case scenario i'll post it on like my patreon but make it available for all my patrons so even if you just want to see it and you want to what am i talking about so even if you want to see it but you don't you don't want to like pay for those higher tiers on patreon i have a tier that's a dollar you can just join that and i'll probably just make that available so people can see it because i just don't want youtube coming for me showing something so graphic you know i don't i don't know if they would but i mean it's not like it's blood and gore and my fingers being chopped off but still i don't know i'm sure there's worse things on youtube and i just don't know because i don't look for stuff like that but anyway so i think i'm just gonna cut this blog short for right now uh and blog more things later but today it doesn't look like i'm doing much more i'm just gonna rest and edit but let me know what else you want to see so i can give you a life inside of being a royal Doo -doo -doo. but thanks for joining me so far i really hope that you have a wonderful day night morning whenever it is that you're watching this video um if you like this content you want to show me some support or whatever feel free to like it subscribe come back for the next one click that little bell thingy so you know when i release things i know sometimes it's pretty iffy i've done that to experiment and sometimes it lets me know when people post things and sometimes it doesn't so it is what it is i'm just glad you're here i do have a patreon feel free to become a patron like i said i have a dollar tier so that way if you want to see certain things that i talk about here but it's not like I want it to be exclusive, but I'm just not sure if I can put it on YouTube. I'll make it available for the dollar tier. Follow me on my social media and also check out my other channels. I'll link all the information below in the description box. But you have, well, I already technically told you, I ramble. But just be awesome, sweets. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>